Hello everybody and welcome back to Bell's channel and to Bell's Fort Fort Survival Guide. Today is another episode of the Nuka World DLC and part two of our Safari Adventure. So obviously we are here in Safari Adventure area of the park um, and basically I found Dr. Hans' corpse under the Angry Anaconda roller coaster and obtained his passcode. I need to use code to gain entry into the cloning facility and stop the source of the gator claws in the Safari adventure area. Oh, sorry, click the button. So basically this Dr. McDermott created the gator claws. We have no reason why he did it. He regretted it and realised they were untamable and unstoppable and asked somebody to shut down the Nucogen replicator or the cloning device. Um, so we had to c obtain a password code from him or from Dr. Hein because uh, the facility is in code Grizzly which is the highest lockdown and we can't get in without these passcodes to override it. So pop back into the Safari Adventure Welcome Center. We have Sito with us obviously to make sure that he's all good. Okay, so here we are, back in here. Pop back over to this door and then you can initialize the thing. So we're gonna go into the cloning facility. So unlock door to Nucagen replication facility. So we've unlocked the door. Never been here. Okay, so let's pop further down. So we don't know why Dr. McDermott created the gate claws. But do expect there to be a couple in here. Okay. Some good loot. Alright, so here's some stuff. Dr. Hines terminal. Okay. General entry. It's about 20 a.m. and I've just received this. Oh, hold on. Oh, shit, sorry. Sorry, first of the first, 2077. I think I drank a little too much last night when ringing in the new year. Woke up right next to the Nucagen replicator main terminal and a program was running. It looked like I was trying to sequence an anteater with 16 giraffe type leg scales, four eyes and two tails. Amusingly, even in my inebriation I created a fairly viable specimen sequence that could, pos that could possibly work. I don't think the animal would live very long, but my scientific curiosity I should give it a try. I'll have to consult Dr. McDermott. 27th of the 2nd. Those damn AFAD idiots are at it again. It's only been a few weeks since they vandalised my conveyor by filling it with manure. And the security department assured me that would be the last time they were allowed anywhere near Nuka World. However, I arrived at the, s at the facility today to find Stop the Torture painted across the security door. I don't know why these morons think we're torturing animals. Anything that we need to dispose of in the lab is dealt with in a swift and rather humane manner. <laughs> but you're having to kill animals for no reason. Second, sixth of the second, or seventh, oh, second of the sixth. Thanks to Dr. McDermott's help, I've been able to isolate the segmentation issues that have been I have been having with P BP041, the polar bears, so that means polar bear 41, Polar bears are the last segment kept coming out of the nuclear gem replicator inside out and then exploding. I assume this was due to the, an incorrect sequence. I have never seen such a violent reaction from a specimen before. It was rather, actually a rather spectacle, spectacular result, strictly from a scientific point of view. 19th of the 9th. 
I've had my third request for a budget increase denied due to resources being diverted to this Project Cobalt I'm hearing so much about. I hope Bob Britton realises that Savari Adventure isn't just an amusement park. It's also a home to hundred, several hundred living and breathing organisms which have unique food, water, environmental requirements. I've asked for more information on Project Cub- Cobalt and I, I'm continually met with denials. For all of the trouble it's worth, this project better produce something big. Project Cobalt. Hmm. 23rd of the 10th, 2077. So this is when the bomb dropped. It's about 1am and I've just received a strange message via phone that I needed at the anger and conduct construction site to assist with an escaped animal that's been injured. I swear those security guards need to be more careful with our specimens. Last time this happened, not only did one of the escaped buffalo end up with a broken leg, but the other died when security had the wrong dose of tranquilizer darts. I'll report my findings in my next entry. Well, poor Dr. Heine died. So if they had not um, have taken him, then he probably would have been here with Dr. McDermott. Probably. He may not have survived. Okay, so we've got a few files over here. So I'll do the B ones because they look... Okay, so Dr. McDermott Journal 53L. This is Dr. Darren McDermott, last known survivor at the Safari Adventure Replication Facility, continuing my personal recordings. I've been continuing to modify the Nucagen Replicator to provide a source of food. It's ironic that the very same device Nuka World was using to create its animal specimens for leisure has become integral to my survival. Using a tissue sample from a cow, I was able to replicate a viable clone, consume it as food, then use the remaining tissue to create another. I figure as long as the Nucagen replicator continues to function, I'll have an endless supply of food for years to come. Dr. Hine would be proud of my accomplishment. It's sad. It's been so long I've almost forgotten what he looked like. My God, it's been decades now, maybe even a century or more, hasn't it? Has it been so long? Well, I'll, uh, I'll continue recording later. Okay, so he was using the Nucagen uh, replicator as a food source. So, general entry two, data out of range. Uh, Obviously, because he created so many. Um, oh, sorry. Okay, so no, so this is the first one. It's been decades now, and my metamorphosis continues. My body is changing, adapting to the radioactive fallout in the air. Instead of my organs shutting down and my life being slowly drained away, my body is fighting back. My skin has thickened and become heavily wrinkled, as if it's attempt to resist the me- radiation rather than allowing it to penetrate my body. Also, oh, usually they say it's the skin's rotten, but really he's saying it's thickened and wrinkled. Um, then allow it to penetrate body. Rather than be horrified by the changes, I decided to study them, to learn more about the effect this is having on our on the human body. Perhaps I'll use the data from these studies to find a cure one day. But for now, I'm just happy to be alive. 
How long has it been since the bombs fell and transformed me into this withered up husk of a man? I can't even remember how much time has p passed. I've started talking to myself out loud now. I think this loneliness is finally getting to me. I haven't seen a friendly human in such a long time. I've almost forgotten what it looks like. Trying to concentrate on work is getting more and more difficult. Maybe it would be, maybe it would be better if I ended it all now. But then I asked myself, who would protect this laboratory from those who would seek to misuse its gifts? I suppose I have no choice. Out of the two backup reactors for the laboratory died today, one of the two backup reactors for the laboratory died today, that leaves a single generator to run the facility's power. If this last reactor goes, I'm out to consider destroying the nuclear replicator and abandoning the laboratory. Even though I could have already done this a long time ago, I realised that the machine could possibly be the last of its kind on Earth, meaning this could be mankind's only hope for repopulating the Earth with animals and returning the ecosystem to normal once conditions on the surface are suitable for habitation. While foraging for food and supplies today, I stumbled across the remains of an astonishing biological specimen. It was a humanoid in appearance, but much larger. It had greenish coloured skin and roughly human features. It appeared to be wearing clothing and had been recently killed by what looked like bullet wounds. After dragging it back to the laboratory, I began an extensive examination. My conclusion was that this was a genetic mutation of a human. I could only hope that whatever caused this remarkable mutation can be extracted and used for my own experimentation. I'm entering it into the rec record of sample Q334. My attempts at creating the gator claw continue. I have the correct samples of Jackson Chameleon an American alligator in the mix, but keeping sample Q334 stable continues to elude me. If I extend to create a guardian creature for Safari Adventure, it has to be able to listen to and comprehend my commands. I was hoping the brain cells from Q334 would do the trick, but I've seen failure after failure. I hesitate to throw the switch and see what happens. What if I can't control it? What if it ends up attracting more attention to the park? I think I'll check the sequence a few more times just to be sure. Hmm, maybe it would be better to create a baby one. Um, alright, so let's continue going. A big albino oh. one. Stop right there. Attack. I think it would attack Cito. No shit, Cito, no. No, you dick. This is why he should have just got out of the way. Bollocks. I can't kill him. I don't want him to die. We're going to have to go back. Don't worry, we're not going to go back far. I just, I just won't read through all the things again. Just take it. Okay. Right, quick save. It's all right. Rip them to shreds. Ah. 
above it. So they're like, really, they should just drop dead. But they just fly about like they've lost all their weight and it's just been made of helium. <laughs> Where's Zito? Zito! There he is. Ugh. Thought he died. Alright. Sorry. Over here then. Not here, sorry. Over here. Just I'm looking around. See if there's any more journal entries. Ooh. So over here then. So here's 69H. Aces Dr. Darren McDermott, last known survivor at the Safari Adventure Replication Facility. Continuing my personal recordings. I ventured outside today and almost got spotted by a group of wasteland scavengers that had wandered into Safari Adventure. Therefore, against my own better judgment, I'm going to attempt to splice a few of the more dangerous samples I have left in cold storage. I need to use the Nukagen replicator to create some sort of specimen that's formidable, yet trainable. Something that can protect me, but most importantly, protect this facility. It will take some time to work out the chemistry and mathematics of the data, but I'm confident I can create a viable specimen within a few years. I know Dr. Hine would have objected to this course of action, but he is near, and I can't let this equipment fall into the wrong hands. Ooh, so that's when he... So using Dr. Hine's passcode again, log in. So program history... Subject survived incubation period but exhibited extreme levels of ionizing radiation. The contamination makes the subject too dangerous for command recognition patterns. Sample readmitted to incinerator. Next attempt will adjust the formula mixture for sample Q334 and will provide better shielding for the segmentation chamber. Subject failed to survive the incubation period. Cellular breakdown occurred within one hour of sequencing. Sample readmitted to incinerator. Sorry, next attempt will just make film there. Subject has survived the incubation period, but appears to be highly volatile and in an aggressive state. Infusion of command recognition patterns appears impossible. Recommend termination of the subject and resequencing after study period in isolation. Sample Q334 continues to be unstable and unpredictable. Disable current replication procedure. So there are 21 gator claws here. And two more will appear. So now I've got 17, so, so I've got four more to kill. So you want to go out of this little alleyway a bit and it will highlight the it's gotta be somewhere. Oh, sake. sorry about that I thought no Ugh. drink that dirty water there we go there we go that's a bit better isn't it so this is obviously how he escaped and found his way to Sito in the primate exhibition. In addition to its large outdoor habitat, Safari Adventure featured several indoor attractions such as the primate house, the bear cave, and the ever popular reptile house. What bear cave? Oh, but that's that other marker.
right, so you're in the water. So it's showing me there's a few gator claws around. So there's one there, one in there somewhere, another one there. And there's two areas. So there is a reptile house that you can actually go into. So we're over by the big bear statue. In it appears what to be an aquatic area. Maybe we get something good out of this. Go this way. There's a bear. Now we have to enter the bear cave. <laughs> no, I don't want to. <laughs> bear, I just want to leave you in peace. I just want to leave you in peace. You're doing no harm to me, and I was doing no harm to you. I just wanted to protect you from the gauge claw. Leave me alone, bear. Here. Okay, Bob. Ah, oh, no, it's a reptile house. Open to the reptile house. They kind of lay spread eagle on the floor like proper gators. Running was a smart move on their part. I wonder why there's a big cage in the reptile house. Oh, I hope that's not for re re alligators. So the last one is following last year's tragedy. Stop right there. <laughs> Recipe Thanks. Nuka Hearty is around the back. So that's around the back of the theatre. Alright, so we've definitely got everything, haven't we? We've got the medals, yes. We've got the cappy, yes. So we're literally just doing the last quest. We did it. Okay, we've got to speak to Sito now. Sito. New friend done? No more monsters? Attention guests. To 
And they should not be coming back. Your family's safe, Sito. Sito, so happy. How Sito thank new friend. So, you can tell him to leave, or you can tell him to share. Now, I would like him to share and everything, but I'm going to have the pack come here, I think. And then I know what they're going to do to his poor gorilla friends. So, I think I'm going to say leave. Yeah. Listen, Sito, you and your family have to get out of here. Mean people are coming, and they might hurt you or your family. Sito sad, but Sito understand. Home too dangerous now. Sito take family and go. Here, new friend take. It better shiny thing Sito save. Sito want to give. Thank you, new friend. Sito always remember you. So we get Sito's shiny slugger. 108 damage. Looks really cool. Let's say that. It looks really cool. Um, so yeah, cool. Thank you, Sito. Sito. Sito will miss home. Sito will miss home. So yeah, Sito will then leave. I think it's more humane than having the pack come here and be mean to him and his friend and his family so I just think it's better um, so let's go back to the welcome center if you go onto the right side past the lion kind of climb up these stairs you're gonna see the flag here so I'm gonna give this to the pack so yeah that was the safari adventure part. Join us for the next video where we go and visit Kitty Kingdom and collect the medals there um, as well as the, obviously find the hidden cappy things as well as discover what is going on in Kitty Kingdom. Who's there and why you know why there's this strange radiation mist over there. Thank you for watching this spell and goodbye.